<laughs> Elijah, how different is the Jerry Godowski offense from what you guys have run under Andy Ludwig the last two years? Um, I mean, Coach G, you know, was a quarterback's coach for the, you know, for most of Coach Ludwig's stint. So uh, not much is changing. Um, you know, a few, few things here and there, but for the most part, he's he's keeping it, you know, kind of. Kind of the same, so for the guys who are coming back to be able to retain it, but you know, also throwing a, a bit of his own personality and flair into it. So, you know, looking forward to you know getting into camp and really getting into it. What's different about your role in the offense this year? Um, I think I'm just you know last year I was a I was an older guy, but I wasn't the oldest guy in the room. At this point, I think I'm you know I'm kind of the ranking vet as far as receivers go. Um, I think that comes with a, a few different changes as far as my personality uh, and, you know, how I have to, uh, you know, attack each day, you know, and approach each day. But, you know, as far as play-wise, um, that has to go up as well just because, you know, there's something a little bit more expected of me. You're here today. You did media days. Basically since January, you, Jared, and Keyshawn have sort of been the faces of this season. you comfortable in that role in, in serving as one of the lead spokesmen? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, for me personally, I think, you know, it's a fine line for me um, because, you know, it's always good to be able to get in front of you guys and speak and kind of get my message and my personality across. But, uh, you know, I'm I'm really not that outgoing of a person, you know, really and truly. So, uh, you know, and that's why I'm happy the season can come, and, you know, and fall camp is here so I can just kind of put my head down and get the ball and do, you know, do what comes natural. So with those young receivers, Bowler and Amir and Cam Johnson, all those guys, what do you need them to do to help you and Jared out, to help you guys get open? Um, I don't know if we need them to do anything in specific, but but get better and just, you know, improve every day. You, you know, those guys have, you know, natural talents that, you know, that are going to grow and progress to, to the point to where they can be, you know, stars in, the, in and of themselves. But, uh, you know, for the time being, we just need them to get better so everybody can, you know, produce and make the team better. When guys are consistent, when guys, you know, CJ caught a ball, I think, in every game last year. When guys are consistent in that way, game to game, how much does that help you guys as, as opposed to just good game, three bad games, that's stuff like that? I mean, consistency is always the key. It's something that Coach Mason, you know, preaches to us. Just, you know, not even from game to game, but day to day practices and just being able to, to show that you can make a play and then come back the next play and do it again. And that, that builds trust, you know, that builds confidence from quarterbacks and builds confidence in your teammates. And then, you know, when you get on the field, people just expect you to do that because they've seen you do it over and over again. Your experience, maybe help you and, and Jared help with the fact that uh, there's going to be a new starter quarterback, whether it's Riley or Deuce uh, in the opener. Uh, how much is it going to be on you guys to kind of help whoever is at that starting spot? I mean, I, I think that's a part of our job, you know, to help who's ever throwing the ball. You know, everything's not going to be always be perfect as far as throwing and, you know, coverages and stuff. I think, you know, that's where pass catchers kind of really make their mark on an offense is making the catches that aren't supposed to probably be made. Uh, so, you know, whoever steps onto the field, we're going to do our best as far as, you know, not only, you know, being pass catchers, but, you know, just being older guys in the offense, you know, do our job to, to help him. What do you see as the difference between your two quarterbacks? Um, honestly, you know, face, you know, surface level, I mean, their physical size, but other than that, they're both great competitors. Uh, they both have great arms, and they both are willing and able to compete. So, you know, we'll we'll see. And you know, it's really about, I think, who, you know, who edges the other person out in fall camp. How hard was the decision to come back for this year? I mean, was it something you thought about a long time, investigate options, or was it just I'm coming back? Um, at the end of the day, it wound up just being I'm coming back, but. It was more, the thought that went into it was being more with my parents. Um, I think at the, at the beginning of the season, I made a deal with them that you know if I hit a certain mark or hit my goals that I, I would consider leaving. And I didn't do that, and I, I I like to consider myself a man of my word. So you know here I am. It must have been pretty lofty marks though, because you put up some good numbers last year, right? Yeah, I, they were they were pretty they were pretty lofty, and you know they're higher this year. So we'll we'll keep it pushing. You've been used a little bit in the return game in the past. A lot of options on this team to do that. Is that a possible role for you this year? Oh uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm, uh, if it's that, if I'm here, you know, I'm well. I am here to do it and willing to do it. You know, if if I'm called upon, like you said, we have a lot of options that are able to do that. 
So, you know, just I think the big thing for everybody on this team this year is just being, you know, ready and available when your number's called.